a planet covered in diamonds, worth more than the combined wealth of Earth, but completely untouchable. This is 55 Cancri E, one of the strangest worlds ever discovered. But how did we discover such a strange and valuable planet? And what makes it so different from anything we've ever seen? 55 Cancri E is located in the Cancer constellation, about 40 light years from Earth. It's part of a solar system with five known planets orbiting a sun-like star called 55 Cancri A. What makes this planet special? Scientists believe its composition includes massive amounts of carbon and under intense heat and pressure, much of this carbon has transformed into diamond. Let's talk about the conditions on this planet. 55 Cancri E is categorized as a super Earth because it's roughly twice the size of Earth, but eight times as massive. It orbits incredibly close to its star, just 2.4 million kilometers away. For comparison, Mercury is 58 million kilometers from our Sun. This tight orbit results in an insanely short year, just 18 hours, and temperatures that reach 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit or 2,400 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to vaporize metals like lead and iron. But here's where it gets even stranger. 55 Cancri E may be tidally locked, meaning one side constantly faces the star while the other is plunged into perpetual darkness. This creates extreme weather conditions, a scorching day side and a potentially cooler night side. Why do scientists call it a diamond planet? The key lies in its composition. The star it orbits is carbon rich, which likely influenced the planet's formation. Instead of the silicate-based crusts we see on Earth, 55 Cancri E's crust could contain graphite and diamond. In fact, some estimates suggest up to a third of the planet's mass could be solid diamond. To put that into perspective, if Earth had the same composition, our mountains would sparkle and the crust would glitter like gemstones. Let's indulge in a little what if. If we could mine 55 Cancri E, its diamonds would be worth around 27 nonillion dollars. That's 27 followed by 30 zeros. But before you start imagining diamond-covered mansions, here's the problem. Bringing that wealth back to Earth would crash the global economy. Precious gems are valuable because they're rare. Flood the market with diamonds, and they'd be no more valuable than gravel. And then there's the practical issue. Even if we develop technology to reach the planet, the surface conditions would vaporize any mining equipment within seconds. Despite its bizarre traits, we still don't fully understand 55 Cancri E. Recent studies suggest it may have an atmosphere rich in volatile gases like helium and hydrogen, or possibly even a thin layer of lava oceans covering its surface. What's even more intriguing is the possibility of chemical reactions on the dark side of the planet, areas shielded from the star's radiation. Could these regions harbor unknown geological processes or even the building blocks of life? We don't know. Beyond its wealth of diamonds, 55 Cancri E challenges our understanding of planetary formation and extreme environments. It's a reminder that the universe is stranger than we can imagine. Studying planets like this helps us refine our search for exoplanets, particularly ones that could harbor life. Even though 55 Cancri E is too hostile for life as we know it, its discovery has broadened our horizons about what's possible in the cosmos. 55 Cancri E is a gem, literally and figuratively, of astronomical discovery. It's a planet of impossibilities, where wealth beyond imagination exists in an untouchable inferno. It reminds us that the universe is vast, mysterious, and endlessly surprising. What other secrets are waiting to be uncovered among the stars? The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered, 
If you're as curious as we are, join us on this journey through the unexplained. Hit subscribe and become part of the TruthX community today, where curiosity meets discovery.